Okay. Are you ready? Are we ready? Okay. All right. Hello, my name is Rebecca Rutherford, and she can have third Germany. Well, right, my Tyler, edit all of this out. Okay. There's like a big gap of the arrow in her. I'll tell you when, like, keep going. No. Okay. So, my name is Rebecca Rutherford, and I'm from Ungerback Digital, and I'm bringing you a vet. Yeah. Let's just, let's just <laughs> There's no harm back. in redoing it. I know, this right. is okay. He just has to cut it back. Yeah. Hello, my name is Rebecca Rutherford from Ungerback Digital, and I'm bringing you a vet 365, the bi weekly video cast with the bits of info you need to help you keep your event relevant 365 days a year. Today, we're going to talk about Apple's new indoor mapping app. Angie, get up there. Uh, get on up! Dear mom. Okay, so, not sure if you heard, but our friends at Apple recently introduced a new app for indoor mapping. Using a combo of radio signal strength and iPhone sensor readings, it allows venues to map out indoor spaces by dropping points on a virtual floor plan. I always try to come up with like words that weren't even words. Gets it every time. Oh. Man. Oh, come on! <laughs> a person carrying an iPhone indicates their position on this map as they pass them. Essentially, the idea is that you get to ditch the hardware typically needed for location tracking inside your venue. Sounds great, right? Eh. Let's talk for a second about how mapping technology works in venues right now. You've got small and mid-sized venues who are squeaking by with the bare minimum, most likely a PDF of the floor plan. On the other end, That's good. you've got the major players who have dropped serious cash on a complex infrastructure that uses RFID or NFC badges and Wi-Fi triangulation or something very similar to track attendees as they travel through the space, which, not for nothing, I find super creepy. But I digress. Somewhere here-ish, there's a few of the smaller players that are making it work with photo-rich interactive floor plans that are easily accessible on their website and via mobile devices. What Apple's trying to do is create an option right around here. That's a good idea. Clearly there's a need. But there are two gaping holes in their plan for venue mapping domination. If that's indeed their plan, I don't know their life. Number one, this step. At the moment, Android owns over half the market of mobile operating systems in the U.S. Is it cool with you or your clients if over half of the people in the building can't be tracked on your mapping system? Moving on. Okay. It depends entirely on a strong Wi-Fi signal to work. Do I really have to explain why that's a problem? I didn't think so. We're all really used to Apple being wildly successful at pretty much everything, but this ain't no iPad, friends. To be fair, I'm not entirely sure Apple really thinks it's going to work either. First of all, it's not quite accurate to say they introduced it last month, so much as that it was accidentally discovered by a developer in the App Store. Search my glass! Currently, it's only available via a direct link and doesn't appear in the App Store's search tool. Second, Apple continues to seed IA beacons in office buildings, venues, and <clears throat> all Apple retail locations. Given that this is also technology they own and still seem pretty excited about, I'm thinking it's likely that the plan is for this app to mostly serve as a complement to a network of iBeacons rather than a full-on replacement. Regardless, this is an area that is rapidly gaining steam in the exhibition industry, so it would be wise for venues to start looking for new ways to up their attendee wayfinding game. We're <laughs> almost done. Did you? It's probably not this app, but as per usual, Apple's on the right track. Thanks for joining us for the maiden voyage of the Event 365 videocast. Because I have more, a few more things to mm -hmm. say. Seriously, we're right at the beginning of this thing. Who knows what we might add in to shake things up at this point. Shake things up? Always. I love my mother. Love you, Mom.